How do you think life originated on Earth? We talked about this a bit. Do you have, do you have a gut feeling about? For, first of all, actually, even to step back, do you think because you were like flirting with this idea, is, did the translation mechanism came before life? I think that you cannot separate from uh, translation emergence of translation machinery from emergence of life or something like translation machinery. This whole informatic chemical computing system that is also capable of dynamism and evolvability that comes with biology, biological behavior from emergence of life itself. We have definitely took a lot of steps towards understanding origins. We are able to create molecules from, right, environments, lightning, heat, and you make amino acids. So we, we are able to create the building blocks, the Miller-Urey experiment, that's now like 60 years ago. We are able to uh, create the building blocks. We are able to make them interact with one another. They can get more complex. Some call this messy. There's all this chemistry that's going on. We are able to have these chemicals interact with one another, maybe um, have even some emergent properties that we can quantify. Def definitely there is this trend towards more systems level approach to origins with more introduction of systems level chemistry more network level chemistry uh, and complex system integration in order to understand how now that we can make these building blocks we can make them interact with one another but how do we make them interact with one another in more intelligent ways that will have the properties of a biological system it will be heritable it will be responding to the environment it will mutate and it will sustain itself. That is the final bit, I think, in in our uh, origin of life adventure. And we are extremely close. I th I'm very optimistic that our community will get a handle of this problem in, in this decade. This is, in fact, I think one of the most exciting times to be doing this work. What would be super convincing to you, like incredibly amazing, would blow your mind, if it was done, X was done in a lab. Like what would you, I mean, I don't know if you would call it origin of life, but something really truly remarkable and special done in the lab. What would that look like to you? The, the this properties that I listed, this was five properties that I listed about in the machinery that is capable of sensing and responding to the environment. If we can, um, I would imagine it's similar to Miller-Urey experiment where they only um, sparked uh, in particular environmental forces and were able to produce a chemical that is important for life or a mix of uh, chemicals important for life or building blocks rather. I would, if I saw that a similar experiment where a well-defined geochemical parameter was subjected on a mix of chemistry, which led that chemistry to form some level of computation, informatic, biological property. And by biological, I'm going to keep it to very minimum, um, as I defined early on. Um, that would be super exciting to me, a self-organizing chemistry that we can create experimentally in a flask by simulating the conditions of early Earth, be it radiation, be it temperature, or mix of both, um, that would be very cool. And doing all the five, the, the chemical, physical, inf informatic, computational, biology. Yes. So like simulation and a computer would not- No. Would not be good It enough. would be great because it, it, they help to uh, understand the parameters, maybe formulate, maybe quantify, create models, but ultimately you need to experiment. Unless it's quantum mechanical simulation, but that's going to be extremely difficult. So simulating from the physics up, that's going to be very, because you're going to have to simulate the the physical, the chemical, the informatic. I mean, honestly, it's 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 very start to it's very difficult to start the quantum mechanics and end up in biology all through simulation. Yep. But the stuff that Deep Mind did with alpha fold and protein folding is really inspiring. It's a it's inspiring in that you're able to do, to solve a difficult biology problem. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's why there's definitely a lot of benefit to those models, predictions, because they at least uh, help the exper experimentalist 
to come up with the priors and parameterize things better, maybe eliminate very obvious dead ends early on, given that experiments take such a long time and it's a huge investment. Um, and no one's a better experimentalist than nature, so. Let me let me ask you perhaps a depressing, sad for you question. You really want to make me sad. You're not going to win. <laughs> no, I know. There's a flame of optimism in you that will never be extinguished. 